Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, take few seconds and listen to this sound. What did you hear? Yes, that is the ticking sound of a clock. The clock is ticking throughout the day. 24 7 and 365 days, this clock is ticking. This says the time is running. Once it is gone, we cannot take it back. Time is one of the few things that we can never gain back after we are wasting it. So that is why we need to make the best out of the given time. Our great teacher Supreme Buddha said, the lifetime, the time for the human to live on this earth is very little. Now we may die in 80 years. Normally the lifespan of a human is about 80 years. Very hardly a person will live more than 100 years. So that is why Supreme Buddha said, this time is very little. Our life is very short. But most of us, the problem with us is that we waste a big part of our life to unnecessary things. That is the problem. The problem with us is we think that we have time. No, we are wrong. Supreme Buddha said, you cannot predict your future, whether your death will come today or tomorrow. You cannot say when you will be dead. It may be today. It may be tomorrow, but surely we can say one day we're going to die. So our time is limited. So that is why in this limited time, we have to practice the wholesome qualities, good deeds. We have to collect something that can be taken to the next life. We have to collect something that makes us happy about ourselves. By doing evil things, by being bad, by doing unwholesome things, our life may not be happy. You cannot be proud, you cannot be humbly proud about yourself by doing evil things. So we should not wait for the right time to come. Now most of us wait for the perfect time. But remember, there's nothing called perfect time. When we consider students, they think that they can study when all the disturbances and problems are gone. They procrastinate their works. They will think, oh, I can study tomorrow. If you think like that, if you keep on procrastinating your works, what will happen as students? You will end up in a huge problem when the exams come near. So stop procrastinating and stop waiting for the right time. Study now. If you are doing a business, if you need to take decisions about your business, most of the people, most of the entrepreneurs, they keep on procrastinating. They may think that they can take decisions and they can develop their business in another day. But, but there is no perfect time than now. So don't wait for the perfect time. And also, the spiritual practices, the people who are practicing spirituality, people who are doing good deeds, meditating, 
they also think that they have time. They think that they can do merits, they can meditate tomorrow. So most of us, we wait for the perfect time to come. We wait until the, all the problems are switched off and all the disturbances are gone. And we wait until our life to say that now it is the perfect time for you to do good deeds, to, for you to do meditations. No, life will never say like that. Do you want to know what is right time? Right time is right now. You have to keep it in your mind. There's nothing called right time. Right time is right now. Supreme Buddha said, Ajeva ki chang athapang ko janya maranang sui. Supreme Buddha said, you have to practice eliminating the evil thoughts from your mind today, right now. Because, Supreme Buddha said, we cannot predict our future. We cannot say that when will be the death comes to our life. It may be tomorrow. So what we have to do, we should not wait until the perfect time to come. Don't wait until you become old to practice the meditations and doing good deeds and to go to the temple. You should do it today. Do something good. Collect something wholesome and collect something good for your life every day. So we waste so many days without collecting or without doing any good deed without collecting any good thing to our life. How many days have been wasted like that? Stop wasting that, those days. You can make those days to a good days, successful days. That is why successful people, they make the best out of their given time. Now we have got 24 hours in a day. And successful people, the people who became successful and people who achieved amazing goals in their life, including our great teacher Supreme Buddha, they all had 24 hours same as us. So what's the difference between us and them? They used their valuable time for a good thing to invest something to their life. But we should not waste that time. We also have 24 hours. You should not waste that time. So during these 24 hours, you may sleep about six to seven hours. So we have to keep, keep those hours away. And we, when we count the wake hours, the time that we are in wake, the working hours. So how many hours do we waste? How many hours do we take for doing unnecessary things? How many hours do you waste in social media of finding the gossips and the information which does not belong to your life? Don't waste your valuable time. Instead, use that valuable time to develop your life. Use that valuable time to create a better and happy life for yourself. If you get the best out of your time, you can be happy about yourself. Self-happiness is one of the greatest happiness that we can achieve in our life. And self-happiness is one of the rarest happiness that prevails in this world. We rarely become happy about ourselves. If you did good, if you use your valuable time to develop something good, 
develop something valuable to your life, you can be happy about yourself. When you are at the deathbed, when you are looking back to your life, what you have done and how you have lived, you can be happy. And you can die, you can face your death serenely and with a happy mind. So use your valuable time to do good deeds and make your life a better one. Namo Buddhaya. Thank you.